America is supposed to be the land of freedom. Americans tend to think that their country is the freest place on the planet. You can do what you want, say what you want, and be who you want. But that's not always true. And in many ways, Czech people are way freer than Americans. Hi, I'm Jen from Dream Prague, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about five things that you can do in the Czech Republic that will get you arrested in the United States. Traveling with children is hard. And sometimes even living with kids in a big city like Prague can be hard too. Sometimes you just wanna go into a nice cafe or a restaurant and eat your lunch in peace. Well, in Czech Republic, you can do just that. You can leave your child outside the restaurant. Now, of course, like all Czech traditions, there are certain rules for this. First, the child can't be old enough to protest, so we're talking babies. Basically, they have to have their own stroller. And second, it has to be really cold outside, so this is kind of a winter thing. Now, if you're Czech, you should know that if you try to do this in the United States, you will quickly get arrested, and your child will probably be taken away from you. Now, this happened to a Danish woman in New York City. She left her child in a stroller outside the restaurant while she and her husband were inside just trying to enjoy some margaritas in peace. She was promptly arrested and her child was taken away from her. The first time I saw this in the Czech Republic, I was in a brunch restaurant and this lovely couple came in with their dog and I noticed that there was a stroller out front. I figured because it was a small restaurant, they just left it out there, which you wouldn't do in the United States. I mean, it would get stolen immediately. I mean, those things are expensive. But then when I left the restaurant and looked inside, there was a little tiny baby Aww. swaddled in a cloth, sound asleep. Now the Czechs will say it's healthy, it helps to build the child's immunity. That's what I say when I order a Bloody Mary, it's helping to build my sobriety. I mean, whatever gets you through the morning. So if you're in Prague and you just want a few minutes to enjoy a beer like the childless couple you used to be, go ahead and leave your baby on the sidewalk. And don't worry, the Czech Republic has the lowest rate of child theft in the entire European Union. I just made that up. Now sometimes it's not your kids that are annoying you, but your wife or girlfriend. And Czech men empathize with you. If you come to the Czech Republic, you can literally whip your woman into shape. And it's perfectly legal. No one will bat an eye. And if you're feeling frisky, go ahead and whip your daughter. And, you know, the neighbor's wife too. But like all Czech traditions, there's a proper way to do it. First, Czech men don't use their hands for this. They're not brutes. They fashion a long whip out of young tree branches and call it a pomlazka. Second, they have to do it before 12 noon. That prevents all of the drunken late night whipping, which the woman probably didn't deserve. And third, you have to do it on Easter Monday. In the US, you will definitely be arrested for whipping a woman. So check men, if you're going to the United States, leave your pomlaski at home. The Czech men claim that this helps the women stay youthful and fresh, which sounds like some cosmetics company marketing to me. And the women are expected to repay the men, not with a punch to the face, but with a shot of slivovica. That's plum brandy. This is mostly done in Czech villages, although one of my students did it to me in his office and it was a little awkward. So if you're ever in a Czech village before noon on Easter Monday, feel free to whip your women. One of the best, most freeing aspects of being in Prague is the ability to drink alcohol in public. In fact, you can drink alcohol pretty much anywhere in Prague, except public transportation. And even there, the police will just tell you to hurry up and finish it before you get on the metro. In the United States, you could be fined $50, that's about 1,200 crowns, for drinking at a beach or a park and the police officer will make you dump out your alcohol in front of them. Monsters. Imagine if you couldn't drink in Regrovisadi. And if you try to hide your alcohol, like in a soda can or a water bottle, you could be fined $50 and taken to court to explain yourself to the judge. 
Now, if you want to have a party with alcohol for your company, let's say you go to a beach or a park in California, you can do it, but this is good. You have to apply for a permit, your company has to hire a security guard, and you have to purchase insurance that will cover up to $1 million of damage. In Prague, you never have to worry about enjoying yourself at a park with a cold beer or walking through the streets with a cup of hot svarzak. Every kid at some point in their life draws on a wall. I remember in grade school, that's basic school if you're Czech, uh, writing my name on a bathroom stall and obviously getting caught and punished for it. But there's something about the need to express yourself. It's very American, don't you think? Sometimes you just want to express your emotions, like congratulations to your newly married friends, or a message to your ex-boyfriend. Well, Prague's got the place for you. For decades, people have been scribbling their heart out on the Lenin Wall. It used to be a tribute during communism to John Lennon and the freedom that his music inspired in people. And now it's a place where tour guides take their drunken pub crawls to leave their mark on the city. In the US, Punk teenagers have to wait until the middle of the night to express themselves on public property. But in Prague, it's perfectly legal. And if someone paints over your masterpiece, which they probably will within the week, just go and paint over theirs. Wait, this just in. Tacky and pointless graffiti is no longer allowed on the Lennon Wall? All right, we're gonna take you to our correspondent at the Lennon Wall. Jennifer, can you tell our viewers at home what you're seeing? Yes, that's right, Jen. As of November 2019, the Lennon Wall is now a protected place for professional artists to display their work. Graffiti is no longer allowed. But what about all those American tourists who traveled all this way just to write a shout out to their college football team? I'm told that the city of Prague One has installed security cameras and increased police patrols in the area. Visitors are instructed not, I repeat, not to graffiti the wall, as they will be prosecuted. Coming to you live from Malastrana, back to you in the studio. I guess freedom of expression is dying everywhere. And there you have it, folks. If you want to express yourself, you're going to have to find other means. Now, Prague, just like big cities in the U.S., has a thriving gig economy. Many people are on the Zivnostensky list. That means that they're independent contractors and they can work for various companies. You can be an Uber driver, you can deliver food for Dame Yidlo. If you're an English teacher, you can teach for italki or VIP kid. And most language instructors actually work this way for different schools and private clients. So if you're moving to Prague and you're looking for some good side hustles, there are many opportunities for you and one that is totally illegal in the United States. That's right, in Prague, you can add prostitute to the list of job opportunities. The prostitution industry in the Czech Republic earns 8 billion crowns a year and employs over 7,300 women. Now, it's technically not legal, but it's not illegal. The law is purposely vague, but a political party called the Pirates is trying to change that. Yes, we have a political party called the Pirates, because we're awesome. The Pirate Party wants to legalize prostitution so that prostitutes can get health benefits and retirement insurance. And they want the taxes that would be collected to go help fund poor children's uh, school lunches. And the taxes would be almost one billion crowns, so that's a good amount of lunches. In the United States, if you want to work as a prostitute, you have to move to the state of Nevada. That's the only place where it's legal. And it's not even legal in Las Vegas, which is where you'd want to work as a prostitute. Of course, this doesn't stop the resourceful ladies in the world's oldest profession from finding work. It's just more dangerous. It's just that they don't have the benefits of health care, medical exams, and they can't put money in a state-funded retirement. So if you're in the United States and you want to be a prostitute, just don't. Drive an Uber instead. Or come to Prague, where it's not illegal. And if the Pirate Party has its way, you might soon be able to add prostitute to your Zivnostensky. Okay, that does it for today. If you liked this video, hit subscribe and the bell to get new videos each week.
And if Prague sounds like a charming place to live, sign up for my free course, How to Move to Prague. The link is below. Are you interested in some other videos about the difference between Czech and American culture? I've got lots of other ones. They're around here somewhere for you to check out. So go ahead and have a look. And if you've got an idea for a video you'd like to see me make, put it in the comments below. Uvidíme se příští týden. Ahoj!